Hey everybody, I'm going to show you guys another cool tutorial. Uh, I had a few or uh, a couple of requests in the past that uh, some people wanted me to show how to edit DS gameplays into Sony Vegas um, or just how to split the screens. So I will be showing you guys today on how to do that. Uh, first, what I usually use to record my DS gameplays off of uh, Desmume, which is right here. I usually use a uh, Camp Stasia Studio Recorder. Uh, most people probably use that for everything now. I might start using it for my video editing, but I won't be using it for Pokemon stuff because I don't really know how to use the. Uh, I don't really know how to split the screens on this uh, video editor than I do Sony Vegas. But I will show you how to do it on Vegas instead. All right, so this is basically. What I have here in uh, Camp, Camp Stasia Studio, I usually record with the recorder and then I usually uh, render it out with the uh, program itself. Once I'm done uh, rendering out the entire gameplay of what I want, go into Sony Vegas. Now, I highly recommend you guys to actually you know get a layout of some sort because honestly this is really based on the, the uh, it's really based on the style of your layout so uh, basically what I mean is you need to get a layout uh, in order to actually be able to pan and crop it to the size of, of the screens you want it but for now I'm just going to show you guys how to split the DS screens so let's go ahead and open that up I'm going to open this video but just uh, rendered out in Chemistasia. Now what you need to do, this is basically what you need to do here in the uh, Vegas Pro. You need to have, let's see, you need to have two video overlays or you can just have a video, a video track. You need to have two of them. So you need to make a copy because this, this will require two copies of video tracks and then you also need um, a you need like a like a text track up here or you can have another video or you can have three video layers if you want but you really need two and just the, the top one should be like a text track or it could be another video track that will be for your layout that's if you want to use a layout all right okay so let's go ahead and get to the uh, main important stuff so I'm gonna put my first video there now this is my first video clip here okay now the reason why you need two video tracks is I'm about to show you guys right now first before you do anything you want to click you want to right click and hit properties take off main to aspect ratio reduce image flicker and disable example just like a regular video you're about to edit and then press ok now as you can see the screen just got fat it just got wide just stretched out that's cool. That's okay. Don't panic. It's supposed to be like that. All right. Now, <clears throat> make sure you go ahead and you know go ahead and do your uh, editing settings because um, you're going to copy this video. So you don't want to do it twice. You want to do everything once. So I'm gonna just add some brightness, contrast. Um, what else should I use? Secondary. Uh, I think that's about it. Just go ahead and add some. Right, maybe we can do it without that because it just makes it more brighter. Alright, so just add, go ahead and add every, anything you want or edit your video, your video settings. Not your settings, but the, you know, color correction and all that stuff. Um, go ahead and do this on the, your first clip. Alright, so after you're done editing your video clip, whatnot, now you want to um, right click and click copy. Alright, this is where your second track comes in handy. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna paste here. Make sure you line it up with the first track. And just paste it there. Okay, now you got two. But you can't see the second clip because it's being overridden by the first clip. Technically, they're the same clip, so. 
Alright, so down here, this is what you always gotta do when you do this. You gotta make sure you take that extra um, music track out because that just makes the video clip louder. So, what you do is you click on it. I think you just click uh, U. Oh no, Shift U, my bad. You click Shift U. Delete. And it'll get rid of get rid of it. I think you just click U or Shift U or not or Control U or something like that. I'm not sure. I think it's just U. Yeah, it's just the U button and then you just click delete. It'll get rid of that extra uh, music. And uh, you can get rid of that track too if you want. Alright. So now here is the trick. Now this is why I I recommend you guys getting a layer because Honestly, it's kind of hard to do without one. This is basically where the pan and crop stuff comes in play. So, here's here's my example. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go into pan and crop the first screen. Mine is already pan and cropped. I already have a. Uh, I've already have mine saved up here, so it's automatically going to be the right screen I want it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and go and click window 1. And that's what my screen looks like. And now I'm going to go to the second screen. Pan and crop it. Window 2. And that's how my layout is basically formed that way. It's just a simple amount of pan and cropping it into the window of your layout. That's why you guys need a layout for this. So to actually fit all of this in, let me see. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a random layout that I have made already. That's why you need that extra track on the top, the extra video track for the lay for the layer, for the layout. Or you can have a text. I think no, I don't think the text works. I think you need another video, a video track on top. So you need three videos, one for the uh, layout and two for the video clips. So you just uh, stretch stretch the layout all the way to the end of the video, and then right click properties, do the same thing as you would do to a video. See how it, everything just basically goes into um, in its place. There's a little. I might have to, I have to adjust this first screen a little bit because you see how some of it is about to like go on the second screen. So I gotta adjust it a little bit. Let me get this off. Yeah, like pan and crop it all inside. See there it is. Now it's gone. Everything is lined up perfectly as my layout was made and designed. So it's just a, like I said again, guys. It's really based on the style of your layout um, that you you know that you're trying to fill the screens up with. So if you have a layout, if you already have a layout made, all you have to do is just pan and crop the screen into the uh, you know the the big square that you have on your layout. You just pan and crop it. So that's it's pretty simple. But um, if you don't have a layout, it's going to be kind of hard to do. But uh, most people usually they most some people actually upload their videos without a layout. Let me see if I can like make an example here. So I'm just going to cut this out right quick. Now you can do this with just like one screen, okay? So if you're gonna if you want to lay out with one screen, then you don't really need the second clip. So I'm just gonna move this over. Whoops. Move this over and uh, pan to crop the first screen. And all you really have to do is just stretch it all out. like 
that. That's pretty it. That's that's all I really have to do. All right. So, um, if you have so like if you just want to like upload it with one screen, then that's pretty the easiest thing you can do. Um, you just stretch it all the way out, fill up the entire screen up. But uh, most people want to make their videos, you know, unique and cool looking, so they want to have borders and layouts. You're gonna need Photoshop to make those. Um, I would do, I would do a tutorial on how to do that, but I need to like be a whiz at it. I need to be a Photoshop whiz to do it first, because I'm still learning how to do it. It just takes me like two hours to make a layout, so. I need to make one like under 30 minutes you know what I'm saying I I'm pretty sure I can now but I still need to work at it um, before I you know do a, a full tutorial on how to make a layout so that's pretty much all you have to do really um, let me see if I can go back there so this will be my layout style <clears throat> this is how I made my layout in Photoshop. The two windows are separate this way. And then all I gotta do is just paste it back and everything is in place. Um, you know, but this is just gives you an, an idea, a basic idea how to set up or split two screens. So if I just move that away, that's why you need to have um, two video tracks for your two videos that way you'll be able to split the screens based on how your layout is made so I really can't you know do a you know thorough tutorial because I'm, I'm not sure what type of layouts you guys are going to be using uh, um, but right now I can only show you my type of layout that's how my video fits this layout you know perfectly it's just really based on its design on you know the way I made it on Photoshop Alright, so I hope you guys uh, understand this tutorial more. Um, this is just a basic thing, but once you have a layout made, then you'll pretty much understand what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, yeah, just uh, comment, rate, subscribe, ask me some questions, and um, I will try to get some more LPs in before my, vac my vacation comes up. Um, so thank you for watching, guys.